Hello and welcome to this series of Grass Valley tutorial videos looking at GV Director. In this, the first video of the series, I'd like to introduce you to the concepts and components around GV Director. Let me sketch out the system and talk about each element in turn. You can think of GV Director as a live TV production centre, or in other words, everything you need to produce a TV show in a box. At first glance, it may look like a standard M&E bank type mixer, but this is far from the case. So let's start with the control panel. The buttons on the control panel are completely configurable and can be set up to not only access live camera feeds, but pre-recorded media, graphic effects and transitions. In fact, the buttons can be customised in a different way for every show, providing the operator with everything they need at the touch of a finger. The tablet-style touchpad is the centre of the operation of the system, and it's from here you can access all your video sources and effects, and then map the ones you want to the buttons. In designing GV Director, the team went back to the drawing board, and looked at not only how we make television, but how that process could be improved and made more intuitive for anyone creating a TV show. They broke down the elements you need for a live production into four simple building blocks, and designed GV Director around this concept. So let's look at those building blocks and see how GV Director combines them together. Well of course you will have live camera feeds, so you need some hardware to interface to the outside world. Behind the control surface is a powerful GV Director server that handles all the video and audio inputs and outputs, and will perform all the video effect processing. In fact the server has been designed with plenty of CPU and GPU power to process all the 2D and 3D effects and keying you would require for a big TV production. One output from the GV server is designed to feed a touch screen, displaying all your live inputs as well as your program and stage outputs. This touch screen can be used to cut between your camera feeds by simply touching the screen. It's a really intuitive way to cut a show together. As well as live cameras, you might also want some pre-recorded media in your program, perhaps some shots from archive or a still, or just pre-prepared studio recordings. These have to be stored somewhere, and that is on the GV server, where we find some high-performance drives and a set of codecs to play out that media and allow you to intercut it with the live cameras. Now I mentioned cutting there, and this leads us to our third production element type, transitions. We will certainly want more than just cuts in some shows to get the look we want. We may want a mix, a wipe, and even more complex 2D and 3D transitions like the carousel effect you see here. Or maybe a photo effect, perhaps with a sepia colour change. GV Director comes with a set of preset transitions, but, and here's the big advantage, it also comes with an application called GV Director Composer to create new transitions. We also use Composer to build our graphics to layer on top of the background video. So speaking of graphics and effects, that brings us to our fourth and final building block, or production element as we're calling them in GV Director. So examples of graphic and effects will be logos, channel idents, straps, result slides, tickers, all those type of elements. What's more, these elements can be complex, they don't have to remain static, they can be animated in 3D space and time. This is because in Composer you have a timeline and can keyframe your graphics so they can say spin onto screen and then fly off. They can also have placeholders for text, as you might need for strap names. Lastly, I'd like to talk about the stage in GV Director. Now you'll often want to preview a source before cutting it to air, and you would do that on the stage. 
But in GV Director, we can also use a stage to build a composite that can include more than one production element and you can save that configuration as another separate element to be accessed later by a single tap of the finger. So for example, you might want Camera 8 to always have a particular logo and you might want to always use a 3D carousel transition when you go to Camera 8. All these components can be added to the stage, rehearsed and then saved if needed to a separate icon. More than this, you don't have to create these compound elements on the GV Director touchpad. You can have another operator running the GV Director application on another PC. They can access all the media and graphics and prepare a compound element which they then offer to the director to preview before he takes it to air. So there you have it. GV Director is a completely integrated live production centre that has been designed to leave the operator unencumbered by the technicalities of creating a certain look and allowing them to tell the story and focus totally on the artistic side of creating a TV production. If you'd like to learn more about how to set up and operate your GV Director system, then have a look at the other videos in this tutorial series.